Oh my god. The video just popped on by itself. I was gonna... <laughs> okay. Well, I might as well go with it, right? There's a reason. I was trying to do this, um... Yes and no. If, uh... Okay. Think about... A question that you have been really wondering about and you want to ask the higher ups or whatever whoever you believe in so I'll I'll see what this says this is a pendulum spirit please give me the best message and it's a yes or a no and if it goes back and forth this way it's a it's a yes and if it goes side to side it's a no so let's see So that's a lot of back and forth, like, no, that's a no. But I'm just testing this out, so don't take my word for it. <laughs> or I don't, you know what I mean? Like, if you get an answer that you don't want to hear, let's let's see what I made this deck. And I was, um, just did a live, my first live on TikTok. I got, I was jamming to some tunes. And I feel like I was guided to do this reading. So this is just going to be like a collective what's up reading. I see the star card trying to pop out here in new beginnings. But I'm, we'll see if they come out. Alright. What do we have for the collective today? <laughs> Alright. We did have one here that fell straight up eight of pentacles energy uh still working on your craft diligent study working on your money so when you're at an eight of pentacles it's um hard work because you know ten ten of pentacles is the most you can get and then you start over to a zero whatever so that somebody could be working on their money either you or your person and then down here oh, okay the other ones were face down but this one was face up and it says these remember i just made these north node scorpio so if you're a taurus your north node is probably scorpio but not for all taurus but the reason you could be dealing with the scorpio or this could just be uh scorpio scorpio energy and sometimes that's death like death and rebirth Even though Scorpio and Taurus are polar opposite, um, it's a sister sign. It's a it's a sister planet, so you could find yourself being polar opposite, but also like super similar to somebody. It, you know, according to your I don't know. We'll just go with that was one of the cards. You don't have to take it. All right. What do we have? What's this? Eight of Pentacles and North Node about. Oh, okay. If you're in your North Node, you could be working diligently on your craft. So those two probably meant to come out together because when you when you do take the opportunity, you might not even know you're in your North Node. I didn't. I don't even really didn't even know what a North Node was, but I was already like um, doing some side jobs and entrepreneurial stuff and. When I found out I was doing it at the right time, I was celebrating. No, this one says celebrating good times and coming together. That's like the three of cups. So that's a very happy card. So maybe somebody else was working on their money to come in um, and offer you, you know, go out for drinks or dinner or something like that. Could be a Leo. Could be dealing with a Leo or that could just be strength energy, but... Um, all right, I can't help but take this one now, because, uh, okay, so these were meant to, I have to, to go with this now, bottom of the deck, that's something that happens for me after I shuffle, um, 
So let's just go with it for now. New beginnings. So de definitely death and rebirth en energy. That Scorpio coming out probably could have meant that. Because the butterfly is like, you, you came out of your cocoon. Do you know how hard it is to get out of one of those cocoons? Uh, so you, you did a lot of work here. And it also says the fool. Fresh start. So this could be Aries energy. Um, doesn't have to be. But the fool is like a new beginning. Like someone taking a leap of faith. Don't even care what's going on. They're they're ready to do it, or you're ready to do something. Take a leap into some kind of, you know, maybe your craft. So it's either a relationship here, or this could be for you personally. Okay, I'm gonna keep going with this. I'm not, wait. Yep, I'm being guided to. My ears are ringing to keep going with this. Who are you? Take the mask off. So someone could have had hidden uh, feelings, never told you their feelings, or they were wearing a mask. That happens sometimes. People have to when you, it's a protection. Oh, my God. I'm like, it's a protection thing. And look at protection. Archangel Michael. And I, I got production on there, too. So producing, so you could be, again, doing something in production or... Uh, producing content or something if you if you're mastering your craft wow though I can't believe I said that and the next card said protection so your angels are definitely protecting you uh, you can call on them at any time I, I call on Archangel Michael because he he is the protector uh, there's Raphael and Aria, I don't know, really know a lot about him. I've been trying to to learn. I just say all oh, um, seraphim angels because those are like the the main ones, at least in the Catholic thing. All right, so yes, somebody did get, definitely you did go through a you or your person a dark night of the soul. Cry it out, meditate, music. You will be okay. Meditating is very hard for me. What I do, I just kind of clean. And I notice it takes all, all all my worries or whatever away. Kind of puts me in a different state. I can't believe they're coming out like this. And what did, what, what did I say in the very beginning that wanted to come out? The star and new beginnings. And they both came out again. So this is... So somebody could be, like I said, if you were working on your craft, somebody could actually be a star here. I have... The star, wishing on a star, your dreams coming true, stardom and or influencer. Okay, now we got twin flames, runner, chaser, dynamic, intensity. You'll know if this reading resonates for you. It's resonating for me. Black sheep, you could be the black sheep of the family, childhood trauma, um, you could be unique. Uh, you could have like a, a, a toxic family dynamic and uh, you're healing your childhood trauma, which is very hard to do. But the black sheep of the family is usually the one who went through the most. And so what if you're different? We're all supposed to be different. If people look at you differently, how, why can't we look at them the same way? You know, so even though you could have had family, you know, going against you, which sucks. Um, wow, these are coming out to me like a story. They totally misjudged you, thought you were naive. Sometimes when people are different, it's when you don't, when you judge somebody right off the bat, like, oh, she's dizzy, or like, like my ex-husband called me every day, dumb. Every day, dumb. So I felt dumb, uh, but I knew I wasn't, and so I kept fighting. And after I got away, all the stuff that was in my head for years, I couldn't even carry conversation with people because he was over my shoulder, and like you know, like even going against me to my own family. But um, I don't have to prove anything. I just show people. And I think after I left, I was able to express more and do this. And so 
Wow. Okay, this whole time in my hand, I have Emperor, handsome, could be a dad, very stable, doesn't have to be a male. Emperor could be a female, too. You could be in your masculine energy. CEO, boss, leader, highly intelligent and intuitive, as I'm speaking about people saying you were dumb or I was dumb, and, and if that resonates with you. Wow. Okay, someone could be watching you. This is like the Page of Swords, watching, stalking, not in a bad way, you know, just keeping an eye on you. Who knows what it's for, but I don't think it's uh, harmless. I don't feel anything harmless. They could just be watching you online, you know, like, oh, my God, it could be your own family watching you like, what happened? Okay, um... Don't remember why I wrote this one, but I'm going to put it out there just in case because um, you could be in a same-sex relationship. And I wrote equality, acceptance, and no judgment. So, I don't know if uh, somebody you know is prejudiced or whatever for this card to come out. But I wrote this card because of like equal, like I don't look at color, I don't look at any, anybody who's bisexual or whatever, I don't judge at all, um, if I do, right off the bat, if I find myself doing that, I'm, I'm in a low vibration, and I catch it, and I'm like, you know, you didn't even get to, there are so many people that I misjudge back in the day when I was like, uh, using in, in a toxic environment and that ended up to be like the best people ever so that's why I'm really st strongly about uh, misjudging people especially because I was I used to have to dumb myself down to childhood friends and that who would get like mad if I instead of being happy for me they would get like mad so I would if I was doing something good I would try to my girlfriend couldn't make it cheerleading, and I made it. And I felt like I had to, I, I actually felt like I had to dumb myself down my whole life. I'm not sure. Maybe somebody else needed to hear that. Okay, so we have a chosen one. Chosen one. Spiritual upgrade. So you can be one of the 144. You could be chosen. You could have uh, mastered your craft here that could be gifts that you received from the universe that you didn't even know you had maybe when you because i have awake ascension and the synchronicity 666 333 10 10 11 11 333 is a very very powerful number 313 13 is change so you probably went through a death and rebirth, and you're being upgraded here because you got the star. So, all right, I'm going to keep going until... Okay. Didn't we get something about Emperor in there? I don't know, but this one is like four ones. And I actually drew the four one. Well, what I, I do am not a good drawer, but... <laughs> That's kind of like one of the cards. Best card to get, even though it's not a major arcana, this is your 1111 card, your soulmate card. So you could have somebody, somebody who's watching you maybe celebrate, I wrote on there. Uh, dreams and wishes coming true, 1111, smiley faced. Uh, wow. Wow. Someone could be pretty sad right now. I have <laughs> Lionel Richie, hard time express, expressing emotions. So when I wrote Lionel Richie, I listen to Lionel Richie sometimes. His love songs when I'm like feeling blue or in, in missing somebody. So someone could be in their feelings about you. Maybe the person watching you. Maybe they are, you know, have a hard time expressing their emotions. Oh my God, we got a cup of love here, message of love. So that's like the, I don't want to say page of cups. I'm just going to say a message of love. I'm not going to say, because I wrote a cup of love, message of love. I didn't, 
And I think that I did that on purpose because people go, oh, only a page? It's an offer of love. A page could turn into a king. You know, that's why I didn't mark that. Okay. Wow, this is really, and I, I know I keep saying wow, but. So, messages, text, calling regarding job opportunities. So, this is like the Page of Pentacles. So, maybe this, wow. And this came out a lot in the readings. There was a Page of Cup and a Page of Pentacles. Like, almost like it was the same person. Like, maybe this is the Emperor with a message of money and love. Because we did see Soulmate card there, 11, 11. So, messages could be coming in. Okay, and <laughs> justice. There's your, there's probably your messages. Um, genius, equal, 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 powerful, putting the pieces of the puzzle together, and I wrote detective and justice. <laughs> so, um, like, that's like Queen of Swords energy, but it's, but it's not. It's, uh, putting the pieces of the puzzle together is, is usually like the, Queen of Swords, because they're so intuitive, and they got their, you know, uh, they're very alert, they got their, their guard up, because they've had something go on, but this is justice, this is your justice here, and I feel like it's this Four of Wands, that's what you're getting in the Star card and all that, that Star card be, could be wish, maybe the two of you wished on a star together or something, Archangel Raphael, okay, so he's gives you guidance, Definitely call on your angels. Angels are a little, like, holy, like, oh my god, how do I want to put it? I, orbits keep coming in my head, like little orbits from, I literally, and I don't care if people think I'm crazy, I literally get a vision and I watch, like, it first comes up as, like, a an angel, because I've been getting, like, visions, uh, a beautiful, beautiful angel with wings, and then it kind of goes away, and I watch like a black dot fly up. So I'm a believer, and I was not. I am not crazy. <laughs> I am 100% sober. I would never make anything like this up. They are there. They are there. Even if it's just your loved ones, maybe. You know, maybe that's what it is for me. But you could be a healer. You're a blessing to those around you, and you bring joy to others. Oh, that's so beautiful for you. Whoever I'm speaking to, you know. If you're a healer, an empath, you're trying to help people with your gifts. Moving away from what no longer serves you. Beautiful. This is coming out exactly, I feel, oh, here, yes, it is, too. Serenity is your gift. So, maybe you had a lot of... Like, because a childhood trauma card, trauma in your past that you're healing, or you could have walked away from what no, no longer serves you, that could have put you into, you know, got, gave you your peace, and that could be your gift, that could be your gift, and you're gonna, it says, artistic, creative, loving, leads with love, humble, and letting go, so this is the best gift that you could ever get, I would rather have this serenity, in peace that I have for the first time in my life than money. Seriously. And here's your public recognition. This is like the Six of Wands. So you got justice and judgment. Public recognition. Um, I don't I think I think those were supposed to be flowers up there. I, <laughs> and balloons. Judgment, flowers, celebrating, and acknowledgement. That is beautiful. Okay, so if you want to, you know what? I don't really want, uh, I guess I'm gonna, I'm gonna. So there could have been like a Jezebel spirit, like a Judas spirit. Jezebel is like, a, well, you know what Judas is. He betrayed God. So this says betrayal. So there could have been a, a betrayal in the past, but I don't want to ruin this, um, reading, but it doesn't, because you went through a death and rebirth, and there was Scorpio energy uh, there, and I feel like the death and rebirth could have been because of this betrayal, 
but you had forgiven and humbled yourself. So this is way, way after. And yep, and then there was a seven of swords. So they're all coming. This is like a story. Thankfully, it started out with all the beauty and stuff. And it's just like reminder that it happened. You could have had a seven of swords, um, thief energy victim, but robbery. But that doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be, but maybe it is for you, you know what I mean? But it doesn't have to be. It's Somebody could have betrayed you, did something, you know. Uh, but you had a lot of temperance and patience. You were obedient, balanced, and that is like huge, huge card to get. The 16 card, which breaks down to a 2, that's divine guidance to... Two breaks down to a one. That's a new beginning. This is a gift from God. So maybe he, uh, divine intervention had to come in after, you know. And here we go with another black sheep card. Did, didn't we get a black sheep? Black sheep, toxic, fa toxic family members, breaking generational curses, and chosen by the ancestors. That could be why you went through what you went through also. If you're breaking generational curses in your family and everybody is used to living one way, you could be getting shit from people. Okay, this card says equal, give and take. Oh, equal, <laughs> equal, give and take. <laughs> E-G-T. Oh, my God. So this is like someone wants to equally give to you love, money, everything. What just, just equal, just, uh love this card i got an infinity symbol on there this is the six of pentacles wow okay so you can be getting messages through music and um they're they really do your person could be speaking to you through music i know people don't really think that way, but, you know, I don't talk to my dad that much, and yesterday, just out of the blue, I was like, oh, I wonder what my dad's doing, and literally, I hardly see him that much, so I don't think of him daily like I do my mom or somebody else, and he called. And we're all connected, so somebody could be giving you messages through music. This could even be your angels working through the music, but music heals, like, if you're in a down down mood and you put even a certain beat or vibration on even that I'm up and dancing the world social media so you got the world card now I'm going to end this with the world card wait what do we start with eight of pentacles working on your craft or your money you or your person and the world so you you got the star so somebody is an influencer this is a social media card, but it's also like a good luck, hand of God, got the world in your hand type buys, good juju. It's all about you with the world card. Oh my God, I got to show you this one. I know I always say I'm going to stop, but this one's cute. She's the truth, Mary J. Blige. Uh, there's a, a song, No More Drama. Uh, my whole world upside down. Okay, I got those two songs on there. That's like the battle's over. No more drama. You should go listen to this song. I put it on the other day. Actually, somebody brought it up on, on YouTube, and I put it on, and I was, oh, my God, I just started listening to one after the other of her songs. I have them all downloaded on my YouTube app. It really does. And I go outside even when it's cold. Just walk around. It kind of gives you a, a burst. Okay, so. Yeah, I'm going to end it there. Well, let's just do self-care. Make sure to take care of yourself. I got dance, dress up, love yourself. Get yourself balanced. You obviously did that with the temperance card. So, whoever this reading is for, I think this was beautiful. I got the four of wands. So, uh, Aries, I saw Taurus in there. 
with the Pentacles, Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer, and Scorpio. Libra, Libra with the Justice. Um, why am I thinking Sag energy? I think is the four one Sagittarius energy, or there's a no Temperance. Temperance is Sagittarius, so Sag. Could be any of those signs or have them in your chart. Um, 2520 on the clock. I'm going to end this. And I'm not sure why my nose is getting plugged. But uh, I hope this reading helps somebody. These are my cards. But they're still, I pretty much just did a whole, every card I could think of in the tarot. And I, I really prayed on it before. Because I, I don't want to give people the wrong message with these. But I think that was... Kind of similar to the story that's been coming out for Taurus and, and all that. So, all right, guys, have a great one.